Welcome back, Earthquakes fans, and welcome back, Marvell Wynn. The Earthquakes took on the Seattle Sounders most recently in the MLS is back tournament, coming away with a 0-0 result and one point. Mar, give me your assessment of the first match. What would you think? It looked like a lot of what we're used to when it comes to the Quakes. You know, um, the man marking was obviously there, and it looked to give Seattle a lot of trouble. Um, we had a lot of shots and opportunities. We were going forward. We were, I mean, we had Jensen going from side to side, kind of moving the play along. Um, we had Jackson moving the ball forward. We had um, Vaco trying to do Vaco things, get in and around the box, trying to do what, his, what he did. And, um, you know, we saw Vega come up huge on more than one occasion. Um, unfortunately, Seattle did kind of break us down from time to time, but they are the reigning MLS Cup champion. So it was, it was a great starting point almost like to know where the team is uh versus such a great team so i mean i'm definitely not disappointed what about you what are your thoughts uh as you mentioned i mean coming away with one point against uh against the reigning mls champs is big um i, I like seeing jutson back there he was injured back in march so we hadn't seen him early on in the season and i think his ability to really sit in frees up jackson yule to be Jackson Ewell. And he brought something special. I think his ability to drive the ball, change the point of attack from side to side, and really bring both Espinoza and Vaco into the game is critical because I think that that's where the earthquakes are best, when they can exploit uh, the width and then look to get runs into the box. Now, you were a defender. I was a defender. Let's talk defense um, because the earthquakes did hold uh, Seattle to a 0-0 zero, zero tie, which is always great, getting the shutout. Um, but there were, some, there were some moments where the Seattle Sounders did get in and Daniel Vega had to come up big. What do the quakes need to do to really clean up those – small mistakes and moments and secure things in the back? That's a difficult question because, I mean, it's with this type of formation and the one-on-one -on -one style of play, it's if you get beat or if someone just gets almost level with you and the ball's playing in the right position, you're, you have to chase. You have to run back. There's not that much cover that's there. So I would say, I mean, as our defenders, I've you know, played in a 4-4-2 most of my time. I would say, you know, one person on the ball or defending the man on the ball, and then, you know, you have cover. In this situation, it's you can't let them turn at any moment. That's just the best way you can go about it. Yeah, certainly the style that the Earthquakes play and Matias Almeida likes to implement is it causes these, the, these games to definitely be on edge defensively often. But credit to the Quakes, they certainly had a ton of possession, certainly had more chances, and thought it was a good start against the MLS Cup champions. Let's look ahead now to Vancouver. What do you think the Quakes need to do to regroup, to get their legs back, and get the three points that they're certainly going to need against Vancouver if they want to advance out of Group B? Honestly, if I see the same energy and the same um, kind of ideas that they had in this game, I really think they're going to find success. I mean, the way they played, the way that they just kind of, they had their opportunities, they had their crosses, they had their chances. I think that is almost a solid way to approach every game, and you're going to get results. I mean, granted, we were able to get uh, some subs in, and it does seem near the end, there were a lot of players were going down. So we just have to hope that we can just maintain that level throughout this tournament, and I think we'll be doing just fine. Yes, Matias Almeida did say the injury to Osvaldo Alanis was just cramped, so hopefully we will see him. And he also did mention that he was looking to, to insert some more players into the lineup, get some more minutes. Certainly seems it's going to play a factor given the heat uh, and how – how humid it seems to be down in Orlando. So our analysis from outside the bubble, thank you for joining us. Congratulations to the Earthquakes on getting one point. Certainly need to come away with three points against Vancouver and also Chicago if they are to move out of Group B. Marv, as always, thanks for joining us, Earthquakes fans. Make sure you stay tuned to the next upcoming match where the San Jose Earthquakes take on the Vancouver Whitecaps.